Welcome to Dr. Jester Rants, and I'm gonna rant about, well, this, from Cosmic ne Book News. Wonder Woman 3 Greenlit with Patty Jenkins and Gal Gadot. Look, the first movie was absolutely awesome sauce. In fact, the first movie is the one I'll recommend it. And in fact, I'm gonna say watch it multiple times, because it's that fucking good. Gal Gadot is an excellent actress, and fun service in there, she's good looking too. Mm -hmm. But from what I've seen from trailers, from reviews, from screenshots, and snippets, and snippets here and there from Wonder Woman 2, I'm gonna say... Wonder Woman 2 is a completely and totally skippable movie. It looks like a piece of shit. They decided to insert modern day politics into it and decided to ruin everything. You know, they've done the same thing with Supergirl. The first season was quite okay, was quite good. But then, the subsequ uh, subsequently, the, in the other seasons, it became absolutely unwatchable because they decided to insert social justice and Trump self inserts and other things in there. And evil Nazi people, Bree! and other things. And it just became ab an absolute shit show. And I'm gonna say it that the Wonder Woman 2 was absolutely the same thing. But, the thing is, the Wonder Woman 2 is also, well, did the same thing as the Supergirl movie, not, not movie series, it went badly. The box office was bad. But, for somehow, they are rewarding mediocrity. Hmm. Well, it's 2020. It's the year to keep on giving. Or, as we all know, Participation trophies is a thing with these people. Ah, shit. Oh, fuck. It's hot. Hmm. The coffee is hot. <laughs> Thank goodness it didn't go exactly up my balls, but that was a pretty close call on my balls. It went right on my tie. And with my ties, mm, it was hot. Oof. Hot, hot, hot. Sorry. I need to clean this, this shit up. All right. All right. Now I can. Wonder Woman 3 is greenlit with Patty Jenkins returning to direct Gal Gadot back as Diana Diana Prince and the titular titular character and the titular okay. Though Patty Jenkins recently shut doubt about directing the third movie as she was hesitant to the possibility of a streaming release. It's announced Wonder Woman 3 will go with a theatrical model. As fans around the world continue to embrace Diana Prince, Diana Prince, driving the, the strong opening weekend performance of Wonder Woman 1984, we are excited to be able to continue her story without real life Wonder Woman, Gal and Patty. Uh, the only one that I actually think is a real Wonder Woman is Gal. Patty, not so much. Mm -mm. Who will return to conclude a long-planned theatrical trilogy, said Warner Bros. Chief Toby Emmerich. Previously, it was reported that Jenkins and Gadot would be back for Wonder Woman 3 as part of the Wonder Woman 1984 HBO Max deal, which saw Warner Media pay them as if Wonder Woman 1984 made a billion dollars at the box office. Warner Media has also announced Wonder Woman 3 will be fast-tracked, but it's unclear if that means Wonder Woman 3 will get Released prior to Jenkins and Gado's recently announced project, including reteam, 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 reteaming, reteaming for Cleopatra and Jenkins on Star Wars Rogue Squadron. I saw her teaser announcement, if we're going to I think that's the proper name for it. And um, I'm not holding my faith into it. No, I, I, I don't think they're going to... I don't think they are going to make it a good movie. I think it's going to be uh, even more full of uh, present day social justice politics and other shenanigans. Anyway, which has, uh, has a December 22, 
2023 release. If Wonder Woman 3 gets placed on the back burner for those two flicks, Wonder, Wonder Woman 3 or WW3 is years away. Jenkins has also previously said Wonder Woman 3 will be set in the present day. <sighs> okay, the announcement, let's see. Uh, the top post pandemic game week with 16.7 million in box. Oh, Jesus, that's that that was bad. But then again, it's 2020, the year of the pandemic, so hmm. Wonder Woman 3 took an estimate 36.1 million globally from 42 markets that released this weekend. Okay, even if it was bad during the pandemic and all those things, this movie actually took millions to make. So they are not they could not even they're probably not even breaking even at this point. It's amazing how they're still trying to greenlit this movie. Let's see. This takes the international running cum, cum to 68.3 million and the worldwide tally to 85 million. The film has been welcomed by fans with an overall cinema score of B+. Uh, uh, what was it? Metacritic is kind of lower, but let's ignore that. Gal and Patty, who returns, this is just cookie cutter nonsense. Private watch parties and large format screen, I'm, uh, IMAX, blah, 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 drove the ticket sales and why the most popular amount option among customers over weekend, over 10,000 private rentals were booked. Uh, blah, 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 was holy shit. You actually have to write so much just to tell us that, yes, we are rewarding, we are definitely rewarding mediocrity, and yes, you are going to get to see mediocrity again as Wonder Woman 3. Instead of making, I don't know, a proper movie uh, that was equal or better, or maybe, considering sequels all seem to suffer from the same thing, maybe slightly worse than Wonder Woman 1, but all you had to do was follow the same formula. I absolutely fucking support Wonder Woman 1 because it's absolutely fucking awesome. But no, 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 no. He had to go on and shove in everyday social justice shenanigans. And, well, and uh, that's the go-to thing. That's the, the, the normal thing that these people do. They don't care. They don't care about the story. They don't care about the material. They don't care about anything. They just want to hang guys. I did something woke. Where are my future signaling points? Mm. Anyway, this was a quick video. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you want more of this nonsense. And definitely am all in favor of e-bagging, at least in this case. So, uh, oh, a notification bell button. No, there you go. Notification bell button right around here. So, thank you for watching. Good night.